All right, so it is going to be an action-packed coverage as we start tracking the developments that will be unfolding through the day. Remember, this, of course, is the big day. It is the first phase of polling, and we'll be tracking the latest update on Vyond World is One from the polling day with our guests. And also we've got our reporters spread across several cities in India. Ishan Wani will be tracking the developments from Srinagar. Pragya Jha will be tracking the developments for us from Mumbai. And we've got Nagain Singh who will be tracking the developments for us from New Delhi. And Nishita Virendra will be getting us the latest from Bengaluru. Now the world's largest democratic exercise kicks off today. India holds phase one of the high stakes general elections. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is seeking a second straight term in office with a strong pitch on national security. Now, elections are being held in seven phases until the 19th of May. And the counting, of course, takes place on the 23rd of May. Over 14 crore voters of 90 crore eligible voters will be exercising their franchise in the very first phase. The voters will choose their representatives on 91 seats in 18 states and two union territories. All necessary arrangements are in place. Officials were in fact seen taking electronic voting machines to polling stations. Security has been beefed up in areas where polling in the first phase is scheduled. And the polling has begun at 7 a.m. this morning. Now the Election Commission has set up about 1 million polling stations, 10% more than what had been set up back in 2014. Now in the first phase of the elections, 1,279 candidates are contesting with 7% of the candidates being women. Now, the first phase assumes vital significance considering as to how it sets the tempo for other phases to come all the way till the 23rd of May.